I really be in the house. I don't really be outside like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm a homebody. I'm an outside girly. Uh -oh. I'm an outside girly. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so if you were to go outside, what would you end up doing? I'd probably go to Old Town or something, Fashion Square, you know, one of the clubs out there or something. But I mainly just be in the house. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm a homebody too. I be in the house and I like doing stuff like around the house together. But if I'm out, I like finding a new place to go get something to eat or maybe going to get drinks that has got a nice aesthetic or something like that. Or honestly, if we just even just riding around and vibing and, and seeing new sights, Arizona's perfect for that. So. Okay. And so what do you like to do? Like when you go out, what's your night looking like? Um, I like to usually start at dinner. Um, I'm really big on dancing, like I said, so I love to go hear music, catch a little vibe. I'm not in my in the house era at all. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. So that is just, uh, it's a little hard. Yeah, I mean, so is that something that's like a deal breaker for you that they're homebodies? Like you want somebody who's outside with you? I think so. I'm 24, so. Mm -hmm. I do still like outside. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way to put it. I like outside. My home is cool, but I like to be out and about. I like to see the sights, see what's going on. Okay. Mm. You put this on, you want people to see it. That's that part. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So, why did we end up popping? She likes to be outside. I'm not, <laughs> I don't, I'm not outside like that. But she's a very beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. She a stallion. Yeah. Stallion. Um, she has a beautiful personality too. Thank so. you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Nah, this is crazy, bro. Fellas, understand what this is, bro. This is strictly have your fun and move around. She's not here for a long time. She's here for a fun time. Get in and get out. Smash. Splash in the face and move around. She's telling you who she is. She's telling you she's outside. She's kicking it right now. She's having fun. She's doing all type of whole shit. All type of threesomes. All type of trains. Trust me, bro. When these chicks having fun, they be having fun. But as a man, don't you dare try to wife up a chick like this, bro. Because this is how this is going to go. She's going to play the streets for another two three years maybe four maybe five but at some point the streets will get rid of her and that's when she will try to find a sucker probably when she around 30 don't be that guy fam do not be that guy <laughs> don't try to save a bird like that bro it is what it is because once a bird always a bird all right this right here is crazy if you are dating someone who you shouldn't be with, your body will literally let you know that it is rejecting that person. I just got out of a very toxic dating situation two weeks ago, and I am finally feeling like myself again. And I did not realize how much of an energy suck and an energy drain that relationship was. How? How you, I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. We all know dating is exhausting, but when you are dating somebody who you like, you have feelings for, but who is also bringing this toxic energy into your life, it sucks up so much of your energy. Tomorrow will mark two weeks from the end of this relationship. And despite knowing that this relationship was not good for me, I've had a really hard time processing some of the things that I experienced. But I think the biggest one is just how slowly he started to leech away my energy. I'm somebody who is relatively healthy. I go to the gym almost every day. I work out almost every day. I eat well, I take care of myself, and I'm usually in really, really good spirits. Anyone who has ever met me has always commented on how I'm always in such a good mood. But I noticed with him that version of myself didn't exist. I got physically sick after, I don't know, being around him for a couple weeks, and I stayed physically sick 
for the duration of our relationship. My body was literally rejecting this man and telling me I shouldn't be with him. He is not good for me. And as soon as I would start distancing myself from him, I would start to get better. And then when I would come around him again, I would get sick again. I've never experienced anything like this, but if that's not a sign that you shouldn't be with somebody, I don't know what is. On top of that, I noticed a lot of my daily habits started to slip. I stopped going to the gym. I didn't go to the gym for like three months, which is crazy. I stopped posting on TikTok. Some of y'all been commenting, where have you been? I didn't have anything to say. All my thoughts were consumed by him. And very slowly in the relationship, I started to feel like my voice was being taken away. And as I started to feel more and more like I didn't have a voice in this relationship, I started to notice that my voice outside of the relationship was also starting to dwindle. Like I said, I've really been struggling to process this because this was not a situation I ever thought I would find myself in. And I find myself sitting here like, how did this even happen? Looking back, I definitely see warning signs and I will let y'all know what those warning signs are so you can avoid falling into this same trap. But I think the biggest thing was I slowly started to not recognize myself. I did not like the person that I was when I was with him. So now that I have removed myself from him, it's taken me a little while to come back to myself. I'm giving myself grace. It's only been two weeks, but I've been forcing myself to do things that I enjoy again, forcing myself to go to the gym. Y'all think I wanted to put on some clothes and go to the gym? No, I've been forcing myself to get back. Today marks day four, fourth day in a row, and I'm walking out finally feeling like wow, my energy is back. I'm starting to feel like myself again. So for anyone going through a painful breakup or healing from a toxic situation, please find time to force yourself. I know you're not going to want to do it. Force yourself to do the activities that you know you love, that you know bring you joy. It might feel like a drag the first couple of times, but the more you do it, you are going to start recognizing yourself again. That joy is going to come back. Your peace is going to come back and you will find your way back to yourself. <laughs> okay. Fellas, this is what a woman will say when she's ready to return back to the streets. A woman will make up any type of excuse to justify her behavior, right? But here's the thing. Women knows exactly what they be signing up for when they deal with a man. The signs are always there, but the reality is women love that toxic shit. They love it. That's what they crave. And it seems like <laughs> when they are ready to return back to the streets, like when they are done dealing with him and they are ready to find another dude, they have to sound like this to make it seem that they are not who they are. To make it seem like, oh, you're not a hoe. It was him. He was hella toxic. He was hella toxic, but you was with him. But then you're going to act like you don't like the toxic shit. And then she's going to make up all these little, well, my energy was so off. Oh my God. He was draining my energy. It was him. So it wasn't you. <laughs> and fellas, man, like I always tell you guys this, bro. If a chick got on a hoop earrings, bro, it never fails. It's always a dead giveaway. Shorty, you a bird. It's a mad obvious. It's so many single women talking about, God, send me a man. Who gonna ask you for your number and when they see you, you acting like you don't see them? God for a husband. I said what I said. You asking God for a husband and you walking around acting like you don't see nobody. You see him saying, girl, he looking at me. Look at him! Look him right in the eye and say, you looking at me? Because I'm so sure looking at you. What you want to do? Asking God to send you a spouse and you walk here around here. You look like you want to be by yourself. Y'all seen, seen the, uh, the dude on, on TikTok, the gold digger. What he'll do is he'll, he'll park his Lamborghini on the street and then he'll go holler at the girl and she'll be like, uh uh, I ain't got time. I ain't doing nothing. He go back to his car. She's talking about, wait a minute. What you doing? Where you going? What's your name? If you don't get out of my face, I'll push you on the ground. If you don't want me for who I am and you only want what I have, that is me in the wine press. No, I'm not single, but they don't care still. <laughs> they don't care about that. You feel me? Like, I done told a woman, I'm taking her. I'm, uh, I don't care. I don't care. I bring, I bring her too. I, I, so I just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but yeah. reason why I got, reason why I don't care for to say that, I'm taking because like 
it's somebody to make me happy, bro. You feel what I'm saying? It's I got a piece. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But it's too many people that's trying to be a piece. Like, I know y'all don't even know me. So y'all can, I'm going to let y'all think y'all going to be my woman regardless. I'm going to let y'all think that. I'm not going to knock y'all love. It's all love. It's cool. It's, it's 100% cool. But I know y'all don't want John. Y'all want Boogie. You know what I'm saying? So... I ain't with, I ain't with it. But, but it's single, all love though. though. Single though. No, so I'm taking. Oh, you taking? You out of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. no. Not wrong but with I'm, that, I'm a private person though. That's good. So, so you, you know, had a great I, but they still don't care. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they they don't. still don't care. Oh my god, this is the lovely day, bro. You didn't Telling tell me I was meeting the queen today. I would have dressed up. <laughs> oh my god, you're, you're a huge step of what you usually deal with. It's a prank. <clears throat> ain't nothing wrong with her. Nice to finally meet you, We family. We give our hugs around here. Damn, and you smell good. You feel warm? Yeah, she yeah, good warm. She good warm. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. What's oh, my boy. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, boy. Yes. Do your dance. It should have been me. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to go eat? So how did y'all meet? Um, so we actually, actually met. Hold on. Wait, 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 bro, bro. Let this guy to speak. I'm listening. Oh, uh, <laughs> we actually met at the gym. I was on the squat rack. So when you was on the squat rack? I need to see this. It, sound, it seems like a sight to see. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. So that's what you do for work? Yeah, I'm a fitness coach and a model. Oh, okay. And bro sell drugs, so y'all kind of like a power couple. I ain't trying to hate, bro. Like, I like her for you, bro. Like, I, I hope you're being faithful this time around, because I know how bro can get when he come place it. Like, his dick be everywhere. Let me hold at you for a second, bro. Okay. What are you doing? You embarrassing me. What you mean? Because I'm telling the truth about you? Okay, bro, I'm not about to let you lie to a good woman again. I'm tired of that shit. Bro, you worse than me. And I've been meaning to tell you that. Stop living in the past. I've changed, too. Bring it down about three notches. All right, bet, bet. You want me to chill? I'll chill. I'll fall back. I, I beg of you to chill. All right, bet. If you need anything, you call me. I'm only one call away. Okay. I promise you'll be around. Promise me yeah, you'll be around. Talk to me or Christian. I don't really have to, but promise me. I need you. I need to hear. You, you'll yes. be around? Yes. All right, I love you, sis. <laughs> Where you been? Zito wanted me to meet his girl for some reason. So you approve of his girl, but she looked good or something? She was alright. She was cool for him. Mm, yeah. She ain't me though. <laughs> I know I'm a lucky man. We're in. Mm-hmm. I'll, be in, I'll be in the shower. Now, fellas, understand something. This is funny, but it is also reality, bro. This is how your homie is gonna be if he's feeling your girl. And I know some of you dudes be like, yo. My day one, he ain't never gonna, he's a man. If you got a beautiful woman, like if she's bad, if she's that, you gotta watch your homie, brother. That's just what it is. Because that's like dangling steak in front of a lion. Because there are some women who could bring out that nature in a man. Even if he's mad, cool, he's not even on that type of time. Some dudes just don't know how to control themselves. So, as a man, you got to pay attention to that. And also, you got to pay attention to how your girl responds. Because if your girl don't check that nigga, and she's mad open, and she's receiving that shit, it is what it is. She's for the streets. But fellas, understand, don't look at this as a joke. Look at this as reality, bro. Facts. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch. Y'all already know, man, STC, support the content. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and follow me right now on Facebook. I'm going to be posting content every day on Facebook. 
starting from today. Follow your boy right now, AQ Reactions.